Hello and welcome to the Storzar channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new Bounces pack. Now if you haven't already, go and watch the tutorial on how to import presets in DaVinci Resolve. And with that done, let's begin. Once you've installed your presets, head into your effects folder and you'll find the Finzar Bounces folder. In here, you'll find four subfolders. Bounce slides, pop-ins, outs, and miscellaneous. Then, under bounce slides, you'll find another four subfolders. One for each direction of the slide. And with each direction, there are four different types of slides. Your standard bouncy slide, a slide with rotation, one with wobble, and then with wobble and rotation. And then for each type of slide, there are 10 different variations. So let's have a look at a few. Just drag and drop a slide onto your PNG. You can now see the slide in action. If we remove that and then add a slide with rotation, you can now see the rotation slide in action. Here are a range of those slides rendered out, including rotations and wobbles. The final type here is wobble and rotations put together, which leads to this cool squishy look. The number next to the slide represents how many bounces there are in that slide. If we go into the Fusion page for the preset, you can see that every slide has been keyframed and smoothed out for that nice bounce effect. Moving on to the Pop-ins folder, you can see that there are lots to choose from, each with unique characteristics. It's as easy as dragging and dropping onto the PNG you want to pop in, like this Premiere logo I have hanging around. Because yes, these are recreations of our Premiere Pro presets, just made for DaVinci Resolve. And these are the pop-ins in action. If you want to move your PNG around the frame and keep the same central anchor point, I've included this transform effect. Add it to your PNG and then use this transform effect to move your PNG around the frame so that you can pop in from anywhere. Onto the 10 slide outs. To use them, cut your clip where you want the slide out to begin, right click your clip, and then turn into a new fusion clip. Then add your slide out. There's also a fourth folder of five presets including this cool slide in with a bit more weight to it. And finally, a fifth set of presets that are not in the effects folder, but into the transitions folder. This includes four bouncy transitions that you just drag and drop between the clips that you want to transition between. The default length is 60 frames, which is the length that these are designed for. And finally, here's a little test edit made using solely the presets included within this pack. Make sure that you go and check out www.storzar.com, sign up to our mailing list and stay up to date with our most recent presets and courses. And also subscribe and make sure to check out our other tutorials on our other presets. All right, see you later.